If you roll from a 401k into an IRA and the transaction is completed within 90 days, so which means I have all 401k, I request a distribution that I'm transferring into an IRA, so I'm doing a rollover. So I'm rolling it over into an IRA, it's not a taxable event. If I withdrew the money out of my 401k and I just kept it in my bank account, after 90 days, that will be considered a distribution. Because 401ks have not yet been taxed, the money in your 401k has not been taxed, it's taxed when it's distributed to you. So when you when you take a distribution out of your 401k, if you don't put it into an IRA within those that 90 day period, then it counts as a distribution and you would have to pay taxes on it for whatever the taxable amount would be based on how much you pulled out. So, but when you're doing a rollover, it's not a taxable event. You're going from what's called a qualified plan, which means it's a tax qualified plan, which is a 401, what a 401k is. It qualifies for you to defer the taxes, meaning I don't have to pay the taxes. Right now, I'm gonna defer the taxes and pay the taxes later. So when you do a rollover, that's essentially what you're doing. You're going from a 401k qualified plan, it's called, a, you know, going to an IRA, which is a qualified qualified structure. And so there's no taxes to do that transfer. So you just set it up that no taxes are withheld, the amount of money you have in your 401k that gets transferred over, boom, same amount hits, and now it's now in an IRA.